All right, so with 39 here, we are to find the missing length in the right triangle. Simplify the answer if necessary. All right, so we have been given a right triangle, and we've been given two sides, and we're missing the third side. In this case, we're missing the hypotenuse. And in order to find the missing side, the hypotenuse here, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, which says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And c squared is always your hypotenuse. It's always the longest side. a and b are your two other sides, and it doesn't really matter if you label the base a in the side b, or you can label this side a in the base b. It doesn't really matter. You'll end up with the same answer either way. All right, so let's go ahead and start plugging in some information here. And we'll go ahead and call, why not? We'll call the base A the side B here. And then, of course, we're trying to solve for C. So the base is A, so A squared. So that's going to be 6 squared plus B squared. Well, B is 8. Oops. So 8 squared equals C squared. All right, well, what is 6 squared? Well, 6 squared is 36. And what is 8 squared? Well, 8 squared is 64. And 36 plus 64 is going to give us C squared, or 100. All right, well, this number here, this 100, is C squared. But we're not asked for C squared. We're just asked for C so how can we go ahead and get rid of one of these, uh, or eliminate rather, one of the powers here so that we are just working with C? Well, if you said take the square root, then you've got it. So we're gonna go ahead and take the square root. Let me go ahead and get rid of that little box there. So we'll go ahead and take the square root of both sides. So you can see that a little better, square root of both sides. And when we take the square root on the left here, the square root function cancels the one of the powers. And so we're left with C on the left. And now here on the right, we're taking the square root of 100. And when you create your own square root, don't forget that you are really going to have two answers, positive and negative, plus and minus. And the square root of 100 is 10. Well, now you might be asking yourself, well, which answer do I take? Do I take my positive answer or do I take the negative answer? Well, in this case, since we're measuring the length of a side of a triangle, length or distance is always, always, always positive. You cannot have a negative distance. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and drop that negative. We're only interested in the positive answer. And so C in this case is going to be 10. And there's our answer.